Can you believe we're already talking about advent calendars for 2022? Like, where has this year gone? Currently sign up for the waitlist for the Glossy Box Advent Calendar. It is going to be 99 pounds. That roughly equals about $115. The theme is Freeze the Moment. These spoilers are the UK version, but usually the UK and the US is a pretty close version. So we might have some slight differences, but it should be pretty close. I'll give you the idea. Iconic London, the Precision Contour Duo Pot. This retails for $29 and it's kind of a gray area if they are cruelty free or not. So that one's unclear. The idea behind this product is you shape before your foundation and then you set, you apply the foundation with a sponge and pressing, pressing motions and that the cream contour will come up through the foundation and then you seal it you sweep the powder finish across the areas that you cream contoured. I've never tried this one. Let me know if you have. Spectrum brushes. This is a mini B05 face brush. They are synthetic bristles and this has a retail of $11. Color Wow Pop Lock Glossing Serum. I've never tried this brand, but I've heard really good things about it. So I went with the smallest size that they have available. Don't know if it'll, you know, obviously which size will be in the advent calendar, but whenever possible, I found the smallest size online to get the price. So for 1.8 ounce or 55 milliliters, that has a cost of $20 and the brand is cruelty free. It is supposed to control frizz, fly away, fly aways and give you some shine. This was a brand I never heard of, but I'm, I'm curious about this. It's Force Essentials Illuminating Body Oil. So this one was only in pounds, so I don't know if they'll be including this one in the U.S. obviously, but it's 40 pounds, which is about $46 as of the time I'm filming with the exchange rate. It's infused with pure cow milk and 24 gold, 24 karat gold leaves. Uh, fancy, right? Nip Plus Fab Vitamin C Fix Tonic. Never tried this one either. You can get this one at JCPenney's. It is on sale right now for $16.60 and that is for 50 milliliters. They are cruelty free. Oh, and that previous company, the Forest Essentials, they're cruelty free. Beauty Crop Setting Spray, $14.99, also cruelty free. Refry or R-E-F-Y, I don't know how you say it. This is a brow pencil in medium. This does have a value of $20. And when I try to find out, it says that it is unclear if they're cruelty free or not. Um, it does say it has an ultra fine tip. And when I say unclear, sometimes on the brand sites, they'll say they are cruelty free. But I really don't consider a brand cruelty free unless I have confirmed it with cruelty free kitty or Elef ethical elephant, those kind of sites, because they reach out to the brand, they keep it updated. So when I say unclear, that means that those sites have said it's unclear. And of lashes, false lashes, this runs, there's quite a few different styles online, but most of their lashes run about nine pounds, which is about $11 a pair, and they are cruelty free. Then we have Laneige Water Bank Cream. Now a mini size of this, which is 0.67 ounces or 20 milliliters, has a $23 value and they unfortunately are not cool. It says that that is for dryness, dullness, and uneven texture. What do you think so far? Has it piqued your interest? It kind of has piqued mine. And by the way, if you are new, my name is Stacy. This is Stacy Lee Beauty. I'm in my mid 40s. And on this channel, I love all things beauty, fashion, skincare, makeup, and you know, in this part of my life, in my 40s, I have gone through a divorce, anxiety, and in this phase of my life, I'm kind of rediscovering my style. If you have gone through a change, maybe a divorce, your kids are going off to college or something, and you're finding yourself in this position where you're kind of having to rediscover your style, and maybe, you know, your skin's changed and things that you never used to pay attention to, now you're kind of interested in, if that sounds like you, I hope that you will continue to join me here. If you're a returning friend, thank you so much for coming on back. I hope everyone is having a good day. Okay, enough of the spiel. Let's get more into the spoilers. BYBI, I've never heard of that brand. This is an eye plump cream and it has a value of 20 pounds, 
20 pounds, which equals about 23 US dollars. It's 15 milliliters or 0.5 fluid ounce. And the interesting ingredient in this one that I found was broccoli seed oil. Like, have you ever saw a product with that? I don't remember ever seeing one. So that I thought was really interesting. I'm always curious when they have interesting, you know, new ingredients like that. We are Paradox Moisture Hair Mask. This one has a value, oh, and that brand is cruelty free. $35 for 200 milliliters or 6.76 ounces, and they are cruelty free. Next, we have a pretty pricey item in my opinion. This is X Lash Eye Serum Pro. It has a cost of $55 for 0.10 fluid ounce. They are cruelty free and vegan. And you know, I know some people love lash serums. I am just kind of a chicken when it comes to that. Next up is this works in transit close up, $47 for 40 milliliters or 1.3 fluid ounce. They are cruelty free. This is a multi-use product. It says it's a mask, a moisturizer, and primer all in one. Now this brand I has been on my list in my radar and wanting to try Corez. This is the Wild Rose Night Brightening Face Mask. It has a $50 value. That size is 1.35 ounce. Again, I don't know if it would be even smaller in this or not. I've never gotten a glossy box advent, so I'm not sure. They are cruelty free. This is for hydrate, tone, and smooth. It has Wild Rose, Vitamin C, and Rosehip Oil. So I would assume with all that, there's gonna be a rose scent. Next we have a mascara from Milk Makeup. This is the Rise Mascara. A mini it does retail for $14. They are cruelty free. The claims on this one is to lengthen, curl, and add subtle volume. I feel like we don't see that too much, the word subtle volume. Are you still with me? There's a lot. <laughs> then we have, now this one, I love this mask. I have a video that I've done in the past and then I just filmed one that will be coming out where I was so mad at myself. I came across it in a drawer and I still had one left and it was expired, but I used it. That is from 111 or 111 Skin, the Rose Gold Mask. One mask does retail for $32. It is a gray area if they're cruelty free or not. It's a hydrogel mask, but man, after one use, I could see my skin brightened. Yeah, I'll link that video when I used it down below if you wanna see if you can tell the difference too, but I could. This has definitely been something I wanna to try too from P. Louis, the lip base, and it's a $12 value. Their cruelty free status is also unclear gray area, and there's multiple colors, so I don't know, you know, what what they would put in the boxes. I mean, there's some good stuff in this one, don't you think? Next we have Earth Harbor. That brand is in um, Fat Fit Fun, I feel like, quite a bit. This is the Photo Resurfacing Night Serum. It has a retail value of $54 for one fluid ounce or 30 milliliters, and they are cruelty free. The claims on this one is to help with dark spots, hyperpigmentation, dull and even skin tones, signs of aging, excess oil, and it is made in the U.S. Number 19 is Cetaphil. This is the Gentle Skin Cleanser. An 8 ounce retails for $11.99. This does say that it is fragrance free. Unfortunately, they are not cruelty free, but I also have heard good things about that brand as well. We have a mini La Octane shampoo and conditioner. And there was a couple different ones on the site, so I don't know if this is the ones that will be in there, obviously. But the ones on the site, the travel size is 2.5 fluid ounce, and they are $8.50 each. Unfortunately, the brand is not cruelty-free. Frank Body, this is the Body Peppermint Body Scrub. Doesn't that sound wonderful? Now this one, I'm assuming since it's peppermint, it's not on their site yet, but like their coffee scrubs, those retail for $20 for seven ounces or 200 grams. So I'm assuming it would probably be about that value. They are cruelty free, made in Australia. And yes, that sounds like it would smell so good. Do you like peppermint? Do you like just a pure form candy cane or the, just the scent of it? Or you know what is so good in my opinion is peppermint bark. Yes, I'm looking forward that to that this holiday. I will be making some of that. 
Next up we have, I guess this is called Gosh, G-O-S-H, Copenhagen Brow Lift Lamination Gel. Now this one, I did not see a price on their website, so I don't know why, but they do say they're vegan and cruelty-free. This is number one. We have a cloud paint, retails for $20. They are cruelty-free. This is a cream, this is a gel to cream blush, and it says fragrance-free. I really wanna try that. I've heard wonderful things about it. And also their balm.com lip balm. It retails for $12, and there's quite a few different like flavors, scents to it. I actually got the birthday cake one in my Fafit Fun box. We have two items from Rituals. Rituals is cruelty free. The first item we have is Ritual of, I don't know how to say that, so I'm just gonna put it up on the screen, but that is a shower foam. It has a retail of $12.50. It does say that it is Indian rose and sweet almond oil. The other product from Rituals is Ritual of Jing, Jing, I'm not sure. Um, this is a body lotion and that has a cost of $20. We're not done yet, can you believe it? But are you thinking that you're gonna get this one? Are you still on the fence? Like, what are your thoughts about advent calendars? I wish I could afford to get them all because I just find them so much fun. I love surprises and I just, I like to go through them. But this is the Magnetone XOXO Soft Touch Facial Cleansing Brush. This has a value, it said, of $44.70. It was on sale, but kind of an odd price. They are cruelty-free, and there you have it. That is the spoilers for the Glossy Box Advent Calendar 2022. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to see some unboxings, you can go ahead and click on this video here. And I hope you have a wonderful morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you are. Thanks. Bye.